Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Rugs. Today I want to talk to you a bit about how to look after rugs if you have a collection of your own. Um, we uh, have a restoration and conservation service within the business here but there's a lot you can do from home to make sure your rugs are kept in tip-top condition. First things first is that you should never vacuum a rug with the rotating brushes of an upright vacuum cleaner. If you can, always use the, just the suction hose bit just to suck the grit and dirt out of the pile and it's removing that grit and dirt that prolongs the rug. If that grit's left in the pile it can cut through the wool as you walk on the rug and that's when ball patches start appearing. I have a rug here that is coming for repair that's in rather a sad state but if you were to, I'll show you, if you hold your hand and place the rug over the top and then bang really hard on the back of the rug if you can feel grit as I can on the palm of your hand, your rug needs cleaning, professionally cleaning, where the grit is vibrated out of it and then the pile is gently cleaned. The other thing you need to remember, which is key to looking after your rugs, is if it's on a hard floor or on a very thick piled fitted carpet, it will move around. So you need to have a very good underlay underneath it. Now, underlay might be rather boring. This, we're going to make it exciting. This underlay here is ideal for rugs on a hard floor where you have an uneven surface. So bricks or pamets or old wooden floors where the boards are a bit uneven. It's very thick, it's very durable. It takes out any bumps and ridges that might cause creases on your rug and also stops them slipping around. This side is made from recycled car tires and this side is made from recycled clothing and rags. So it's very environmentally friendly. We have two different sorts of underlay. If you have rugs on a hard floor with, under, with underfloor heating, it's quite thick, but it doesn't have any insulation properties to it. So all the underfloor heating can still come through. It stops the rugs from slipping um, and it makes them feel absolutely gorgeous underfoot. And then we have a thinner version. If you've got rugs on a fitted carpet, then they move around. This stops the car rugs moving around but it doesn't have a sticky residue that comes off onto your hands or onto the rug or fitted carpet underneath. It just holds them fast and can be washed regularly to, re to bring back the sticking qualities of this product. Very worthwhile having. The other thing you need to remember about your rugs is to rotate them regularly. If they're down on the floor where you walk across one corner all the time, turn it round and put it the other way round so that one corner doesn't get all the abuse that uh, walking will have on it. When there's a little problem with the rug, do get it dealt with quickly. Rugs are handmade, and if the tension in the foundation of the rug is broken at all, a bit like a hole in a handmade sweater, it starts to ping apart very quickly. So if you find a hole or a crack appearing in your rug, do give a restorer a call and ask them to fix it. And it definitely is a stitch in time saves nine. The other thing you need to look for is the real little pest of the rug world. And that's moth. Goodness me, the damage they can do. General carpet moth or clothes moth love eating wool, particularly if your rug is tucked underneath a heavy piece of furniture and it doesn't get moved very often. The little moth will crawl in underneath and start munching away on the wool of your carpet. And, um, and laying its eggs and then the larvae hatch and do so much damage. So do be vigilant for moth and have them checked regularly by a carpet expert. Having rugs and carpets is a wonderful thing to have in your life, but they do take a little bit of looking after and you do need to be responsible for them. So do always call an expert if you need any advice at all. We're happy to help. Thank you, bye bye.